All right, I'm James Hamblin from Shippensburg University, and our mateys, we may be solving a pirate puzzle. Uh, so let me give you the setup of the puzzle. We've got five pirates. Uh, in the problem, they're called number one, number two, number three, and so on, but that's kind of boring. So I gave them names. There's Captain and Matey and Bluebeard. He had a little accident with some food coloring. Uh, Pegleg and Cookie. And so the puzzle is that these five pirates have been on an adventure. They've found some booty, and it's a hundred gold doubloons. And they want to set, and they want to divvy up those gold doubloons amongst themselves. And the way this is going to work is Captain, since he's the captain. Uh, gets to go first, and he's going to propose a way to divvy up these gold doubloons to his pirates. So he's going to say, "This, you know, I get this many. Number two gets this many. Number three gets this many." And then the pirates are going to vote. And if the pirates vote with a majority to accept the deal, then the deal is accepted, and you know they get the gold that they were promised. So majority means more than half. So at the beginning, three out of these five pirates would have to vote uh, in favor of this deal. If they don't vote in favor with the majority, then Captain walks the plank, and then Matey becomes the captain. So now there's only four pirates left, but it's the same game. So now Matey has to propose a deal among these, the four remaining pirates, and still needs a majority. And now a majority of four is three. Two pirates voting in favor in this situation is not enough. 50% is not a majority. They need three out of four. But if that doesn't happen, then Matey walks the plank, and then there's only three pirates left. Bluebeard has to propose a deal and have a majority vote in favor. If not, Bluebeard will walk the plank, then there will only be two pirates left, Pegleg and Cookie. If Pegleg and Cookie don't vote for that with a majority, then Pegleg walks the plank and Cookie's left by himself. So the question is, going back to the beginning of this process, what should number one, what should the captain propose so that the deal will be accepted by a majority of the pirates? And the interesting thing in this problem is that it actually makes more sense to go to the end of the problem and work backwards. So let's go all the way down to the end and think about what Cookie is going to want. Well, Cookie's the only pirate left, right? All of his other four pirate friends have walked the plank. And so if Cookie's got to divide the gold doubloons amongst the one pirate, he's going to give all 100 gold doubloons to himself. So if we back up a step, now think about what Pirate 4 is going to do, given that knowledge. Pirate 4 knows that if he doesn't propose a deal that will get accepted by a majority, he's going to walk the plank and Cookie's going to get 100 gold doubloons. And what's more is that since there's only two pirates alive at this point, a majority of two is two, right? One out of two is 50%. That's not a majority. So Peglight has to propose a deal that Cookie will vote in favor of. And Cookie knows that if Cookie makes Peglight walk the plank, Cookie's going to get a whole 100 gold doubloons. So Cookie isn't going to accept the deal that gives him less than 100 gold doubloons. So the only deal that Peglight can propose that has any chance of keeping him alive is zero to Peglight and 100 to Cookie. If he gives Cookie anything less than 100, Cookie will vote no, that won't be a majority, Pegleg walks the plank, and Cookie gets 100. Okay? So let's back up another step. Now it's Bluebeard's turn. And, he, and again, Bluebeard knows this. And all these pirates, we have to assume that they're perfect logicians. They, they've planned this all out, and they know exactly, they're very logical pirates. You know, they, They've got their eye patches and parrots and peg legs, but they're very logical. Okay? So number three, Bluebeard has to propose a deal that a majority will vote in favor of. Okay, now a majority is two out of three. So Bluebeard doesn't need Pegleg and Cookie both to like his deal. He just needs one of them to vote for it. So he can't really please Cookie. He can't please Cookie unless he gives Cookie 100 gold doubloons. So the solution is to give Cookie nothing. Say, you know what, Cookie's not going to vote in favor anyway, so forget him, give him zero. To please Pegleg, he only has to give Pegleg one gold doubloon, because that's better than he's going to get if they make Bluebeard walk the plank. So the deal Bluebeard's going to propose is 99 to Bluebeard. It's pretty good for Bluebeard. One for Pegleg and zero for Cookie. Bluebeard will, of course, vote for this plan. Pegleg says, well, one's better than zero, so I'll vote for that. And Cookie votes no, but too bad that it gets passed with the majority. So now let's back up another step. Now it's Mady's turn to propose a deal. And again, they all know this. Bluebeard, Pegleg, and Cookie know that if they make Mady walk the plank, this is what they're going to get. So Matey has to get a majority. There's four pirates now. So Matey needs three out of the four to vote in favor. But look how hard Bluebeard is going to be to please. Matey can't please Bluebeard unless he gives him 99 or more gold doubloons. So just like before, say, well, forget you, Bluebeard. All I have to do is please Pegleg and Cookie. Now, Cookie, if it made it all the way down to Cookie just by himself, might be thinking about, hmm, am I going to be able to get 100 gold doubloons if I wait all the way to the end? But the problem is, it's not going to get all the way to the end with just Cookie alive. 
Because if it gets to Matey walking the plank, Bluebeard will propose this deal, which Cookie will vote no on, but too bad for Cookie, Bluebeard and Pegleg will vote yes, and that will get passed. So Cookie is better off getting anything more than zero at this point. So, so we know we had 100 for Cookie earlier on in the process, but Cookie can't get to that point. Right? Cookie can't get down to the place where only Cookie is alive anymore. So Matey's deal is going to be to forget about pleasing Bluebeard, give two gold doubloons to Pegleg, because that's better than one, one gold doubloon to Cookie, and then 97 to himself. Okay, so now we're back to the original problem. So Captain has to propose an, a, a, a deal for these five pirates. Again, knowing that if Captain is made to walk the plank, this is what's going to happen. All right. Now there's five pirates, so how many votes does the Captain need? He needs three out of five. Matey is hard to please, so don't even try. I'd have to give Matey more than 97 gold doubloons to get them to vote in favor of my plan. I don't want to do that, so I'll just give Matey zero. So then I have to please Bluebeard, Pegleg, and Cookie. And they're all really easy to please. I have to give Bluebeard more than zero, Pegleg more than three, or sorry, Pegleg more than two, and Cookie more than one. Well, of those three, Pegleg is the hardest to please. I only need two of these guys to vote in favor of me. So I'll give Bluebeard one, Pegleg zero, Cookie two, Matey zero, and 97 to myself. It's good to be the captain. <laughs>